the eighth edition of Warner Wolf's Plays of the Year. Now here's Warner Wolf. Thank you and good evening. For the next 30 minutes, more videotape highlights than you've ever seen in one half hour. So let's go to the videotape, the plays of the year of 1990, starting with January, February, and March. In January, the best touchdown pass in the NBA, Michael Jordan on the fly to Scottie Pippen and the stuff. The best 360-degree slam, it's Gerald Wilkins of the Knicks against the Suns. The best dive into the stands for a loose ball. Dennis Rodman of the Pistons. The worst move by an excitable coach. Chuck Daly of the Pistons. Take a 10 count, Chuck. The most upset player after a loss. Mike Williams of the Sacramento Kings who kicks a field goal into the stands. The worst college brawl of the month. North Carolina A&T in the gold. North Carolina Central in the black. When it was all over, five players suspended, 10 people injured, and the game ruled no contest. The check of the month, the Bruins Cam Neely against Lindy Ruff. The hardest football hit in January, Alabama's Gene Jelks hit by Miami's Darren Smith. The dirtiest fighter of the month, Raul McPeak in the black trunks who thinks he's a linebacker and plows into Antoine Bird. And the golf shot of the month, amateur Ray Tulsi, 17th hole Arnold Palmer course, 100 yard shot, give that man a hug. In February, the longest shot that didn't count, Malik Seeley, 80-footer against Seton Hall. Swish, but after the buzzer. The longest shot that did count, Boo Richardson of the Minnesota Timberwolves. 70-foot shot, good. The most creative slam dunk in the slam dunk contest, Kenny Smith, then of the Sacramento Kings. The best shot without looking in a Minute Maid commercial, Dominique Wilkins of the Hawks. The best effort for a loose ball, Michael Cooper of the Lakers, who makes the save and then falls into the stands and is knocked unconscious. The best example of throwing water on a heckler behind your bench, the Golden State Warriors, dousing a Bullets fan. The best check of the month, Chris Nyland of the Rangers, sending John Cullen of the Penguins up and over. Come on out, John, come on out. The worst slash of the month, Laurie Boschman of Winnipeg in the dark, reaches out and slashes Thomas Sandstrom. Boschman was suspended eight games. The worst head pull of the month in the Pro Bowl. Pat Swilling of the Saints yanks the face mask of Buffalo's Thurman Thomas. And the punch of the month, Merky Sosa in the white trunks, right hand, boom. Down goes Jose Quiones. Fights over first round. In March, the clutch shot of the month, NCAA playoffs. One second left in the game, Tate George, Connecticut, swish, and Connecticut beats Clemson 71 to 70. The longest NBA shot of the month, Chris Morris, net 65-footer, swish. The best dive for a loose ball, NCAA playoffs, Richard Coffey of Minnesota University against Syracuse, up and over. The longest lasting foul shot of the month, Michael Thompson of the Lakers, Round and round she goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. The best hockey goal of the month, Darren Turcott. Rangers breaks through two Islanders, tripped up on his stomach, shoots, and scores. The worst hockey brawl of the month, the entire Tri-City team of the Western Hockey League goes after the hometown fans in Seattle. Nine fans arrested and or ejected. Five players ejected, game held up a half an hour. The longest golf shot of the month, Robert Gomez, 18th hole, 176 yard shot, final round, Nestle Invitational, and the ball goes in, and Gomez wins by one stroke. And the boo of the month, Bazooka Lamone in the green, who pulls down the trunks of Charmbay Mitchell.
Mitsubishi has won more major awards in the past two years than most car makers could hope for in a lifetime. Well, today, we secretly replaced his Pepsi with Coke. Let's see what happens. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Emma! Problem. Continuing the plays of the year of 1990, April, May, and June. In April, the best catch by center fielder coming in, Robin Yount of the Milwaukee Brewers. The best catch by center fielder going out, Ken Griffey Jr. of Seattle, robbing Jesse Barfield of a home run. The best diving catch by a shortstop, Jody Reed of the Boston Red Sox. The best catch by third baseman, Steve Bouchelle of Texas. The worst pitch of the month, Pat Combs of the Phillies. Nice control, Pat. The best open field tackle by a pitcher, Todd Stottlemyre, who hits Mitch Webster and makes the tackle. The longest NBA shot of the month, Magic Johnson, 53-footer, swish. The best pass between your legs, Craig Hodges to Michael Jordan. The worst elbow of the month, Sidney Green of Orlando, who elbows Chris Dudley of the Nets. Green was ejected. The best open door policy of the month, Gino Cavallini of the Blues, sends John Cordick of the Leafs out and through the door. The golf shot of the month, David Frost, final round, New Orleans Classic, 18th hole, 50-foot chip shot out of the sand, and it's good. And the worst aim by a fighter, Vincent Petway in the red, misses his opponent, and accidentally hits referee Frank Cappuccino. In May, the best catch by a left fielder, Lloyd McClendon of the Cubs, who robs Odomi McDowell. The best bobbling catch by two players, Howard Johnson pop-up third base. It's Pagliarulo, Templeton, and Templeton give Pags an assist. Most players involved in one missed pop-up. It's Browning, Duncan, Larkin, Sabo, and Nobody. The best tumbling actor of the month. It's Ryan Sandberg of the Cubs with a pop-up. Here comes Will Clark of the Giants, up and over. The collision of the month. Ray Palacios of Kansas City and Tony Pena of the Red Sox, out at the plate. The best no-look pass of the month in the NBA. Magic to Worthy, and Worthy with the two. The best no-look pass and goal in the Stanley Cup Final. Oilers' Glenn Anderson to Craig Simpson in Game 5. The worst crash with no serious injury. Jim Crawford, Indianapolis 500 practice run. As his car crashes into the wall, runs over his own tire, and his car flies 10 feet in the air. And the most unusual finish to a boxing match, Gene Van Oss against Peter Shea. Double knockdown, Golden Gloves. In June, the best catch by a left fielder, Yvonne Calderon to the White Sox, who robs Don Mattingly. The best catch by a right fielder, Jim Eisenreich of the Royals, who robs the Twins' Dan Gladden. The best diving catch by center fielder, Lenny Dykstra of the Phillies, taking a double away from Dwight Smith. The best catch by center fielder going against the wall, Robin Yount of the Brewers, who robbed Steve Balboni of the Yankees. The best bobbling catch by a catcher of a ball and a helmet, Phillies catcher Darren Dalton, who bobbles the ball. What about your helmet? The best unassisted hustle by a second baseman, Padres second baseman Roberto Alomar, who dives into first base for the out. The best behind the back flip by a second baseman, Julio Franco of Texas, for the force at second, safe at first. The best catch by a third baseman, doused by beer, Robin Ventura of the White Sox, who makes the grab and then gets a beer shower. The fastest inside the park home run of the month by a running back, Bo Jackson of the Royals, with a shot to right field that gets by Jose Conseco. Come on, Bo, go for the touchdown. Inside the park home run for Jackson, 
who circles the bases and the 120 yards in 14 seconds. How about a flip, Bo? The worst game for one player. Brewers catcher B.J. Serhoff, who was first hit in the groin by a foul tip, and then two innings later, while at bat, hit in the groin again. Serhoff was okay. The punch of the month, Luis Adino with a left hook. Boom, and down goes Steve Martin. The fight's over in the first round. And the best chip shot out of the bunker. It's Ray Floyd's 16th hole Westchester Classic, and the ball bounces in. Warner Wolf's Plays of the Year will continue after these messages. You know when it's right, you know when you feel it, baby. You hold it, you hear it, you taste it, it's right. You got the right one, baby. Uh -huh. With 100% nutri sweet. I am holding something green and powerful, and it's going to change your weekend. What, lawn clippers? I'm picking you up at 4 o'clock. So, where are you taking me? Reservation for the Newtons? Yes, ma'am. What else have you got planned? The whole weekend. Only one card gives you the privileges of membership. The American <laughs> Express card. Don't leave home without it. Continuing our plays of the year of 1990, let's go to the videotape, July, August, and September. In July, the best catch by right fielder going back to the wall, Felix Jose of the Oakland A's, who robs Robin Yount of a home run, makes the catch, falls back, loses the ball, but holds on. The best diving catch by a right fielder coming in, former Michigan quarterback Rick Leach of the Giants. The best diving catch by a left fielder going out, it's Rex Hudler of the St. Louis Cardinals. The best move after a catch by a center fielder, Bo Jackson of the Royals against Baltimore, who makes the grab and climbs the wall. It's Spider-Man in disguise. The best track and field effort on a pop foul, Astros third baseman Ken Caminetti, who hurdles the fence, but then runs into the dugout. The most exciting play involving two football players, Deion Sanders line drive by Bo Jackson. There goes Bo, and here comes Deion going for the touchdown. Deion leaps, misses the plate, but McFarlane misses the tag. Deion dives back and is safe inside the park home run. The worst example of base running by a 35-year-old, Mickey Hatcher of the Dodgers. Is he out of gas or what? The best home run in batting practice by a professional basketball player. It's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls off the upper deck facade in Comiskey Park. The best example of being caught with your pants down, White Sox Steve Lyons, who after diving into first, dusts himself off and forgets where he is. Come on, Steve. The dunk of the month, Willie Bland of the World Basketball League. Up, under, twist, and slam. The golf shot of the month, Greg Norman, third round, British Open. 75-yard shot, and the ball does a reverse for an eagle three. And the surprise shot of the month, Chi-Chi Rodriguez, senior classic. And his shot goes to the dogs. Come on, give that dog a ball. In August, the best diving catch by a center fielder, it's Darrell Boston of the New York Mets. The best sliding catch by a center fielder coming in, Mike Devereaux of the Orioles. The best catch by a right fielder, Rob Deere of the Brewers. The best catch by a second baseman running into the tarp, Rene Gonzalez of the Orioles. The best diving catch by a shortstop, Billy Spires of the Brewers. The best barehanded grab by a six foot ten pitcher, 
Randy Johnson of the Mariners. The worst catch by a catcher on a routine pop-up. Don Slaughter, the Pirates. Nice grab, Don. The worst case of being hit by a batted ball, Seattle's Bill Swift, who was not seriously injured. The best sucker punch of the month, the Cardinals' Pedro Guerrero, who takes a shot at Astros pitcher Danny Darwin. The best sneak left jab by a 40-year-old catcher, Rick Dempsey of the Dodgers, who punches Lenny Dykstra of the Phillies. Dempsey was fined and suspended. And the best body slam by an umpire impersonating Hulk Hogan, Joe West, who flattens Dennis Cook. The most upset manager of the month, Lou Pinella, who becomes one of the few National League managers in history ever to steal first base. The worst move in the dugout, Yankees' Bob Guerin, who gets hit by his own batting helmet. The best disappearing act by center fielder on a home run. It's the Orioles' Brady Anderson, who goes back, up, over, and disappears. The punch of the month, Joey Scott in the green with a right hand, and boom, down goes Joey Pendleton. The worst punch after the bell, watch Razor Ruddick in the white, and boom, down goes Camille Odom. The best flip of the month, Isaac Gomez in the red, who goes up and over Aaron Shokley. The best golf shot out of the bunker, Steve Pate, second round PGA, 16th hole, 60 foot chip shot is good. Best play by a linebacker in an exhibition game. Derek Thomas, Kansas City, makes the sack, picks up the loose ball, and then goes in for the touchdown. And the worst move by an NFL defensive back after an interception, Chris Dishman of the Oilers, who makes the interception, but celebrates 10 yards too early and fumbles the ball. In September, the best catch robbing a player of a home run, it's Barry Bonds, who reaches over the fence and takes a home run away from Greg Jeffries. The best catch by a third baseman going over the rail, Ken Caminetti of the Astros, who makes the grab and holds on to the ball. All right, Ken. The best attempted original slide trying to stretch a single into a double. It's Oscar Azokar, then of the Yankees. Come on, Oscar, through the legs. The best broken bat over your own knee. Wade Boggs of the Red Sox. Come on, Wade, pull off. And boom. The boo of the month, Cleveland Browns' Robert Banks, who tries to kick the Jets' Chris Dressel. Banks suspended one game. The best readjustment and 360-degree move for a touchdown. James Brooks of the Bengals. The worst fair catch of the month, the Jets' JoJo Townsell clobbered by his own teammate, John Galvin. And the worst overhand smash at the U.S. Open, Leela Meski. Come on, Leela. my house in Queens so my kids have a place to uh, play. Power means that I can park the car when I come home at night and not have to hunt around the block. Are you serious? I'm going to live on Social Security. I paid the money. It's there. You can't. You're, you don't mean that. It's my you money. cannot live on Social Security. Are I'm you? just a man of straight check. I'd like to sit down with someone and, you know, ask questions. The CD will be a good, safe place. Understanding what money really means to you, it's what sets us apart. That's not just banking. That's city banking. Finishing our plays of the year of 1990, October, November, and December. In October, the best backhanded stop by a pitcher in the World Series, Jose Rio of the Reds in game one, who throws out Willie Randolph. The best body slam and pin in the NFL, Bruce Matthews of the Oilers, and Jeff Lagerman of the Jets. Can Hulk Hogan be far behind? The college football brawl of the month. Last play of the game, LSU in the white, Florida State in the red. Florida State wins 42 to three. The best fake out and behind the back pass, Larry Bird to Reggie Lewis. The best NHL goal of the month, Canadians Dennis Savard against the Red Wings. A nice move and the goal. The best check of the month, 
Dave Chazowski of the Islanders, who goes up and over Brendan Shanahan of the Devils. First down, Isles. The golf shot of the month, Tim Simpson, second round Walt Disney Tournament, 10th hole, 100 foot chip shot for an eagle and in. And the left hook of the month, William Jones, boom. Down goes Willie Taylor, fights over. In November, the best fast break of the month, Ewing to Jackson to Wilkins, behind the back to Oakley in the stuff. The best in your face, six foot eight, Chris Mars of the Nets against seven foot Robert Parrish of the Celtics. The worst fall in the NBA, Jerome Kersey of Portland, who falls on his head. Amazingly, Kersey did not miss a game. The longest hockey shot of the month, Gary Galley Bruins, 90-footer, good. The check of the month, Rob Murray of the Caps, who clobbers Joe Rieke of the Islanders, and look out for flying glass. Best move in your living room, Darren Turcotte, watch out! The best touchdown catch in the NFL, Sterling Sharp of the Packers against the 49ers. The best college catch of the month, Houston Marcus Grant against Arkansas. The best leap of the month for a touchdown, Tampa Bay quarterback, Chris Chandler. The best example of leaving no doubt about pass interference, Oilers Richard Johnson, who jumps on James Lofton. The best face mask pull of the month, Giants Eric Dorsey against the Rams' Cleveland Gary, who scores a touchdown. Grab that mask, Eric. The best example of hitting your opponent when he's already down, Jose Barbosa pouring it on Donald Stokes. Boo! And the worst trip of the month, watch referee Terry Moore. Come on, give that ref an eight count. In December, the play of the month and perhaps the play of the year, Randall Cunningham ducks under Bruce Smith, avoiding a sure safety, and then throws down field to Fred Barnett, a 95-yard touchdown against Buffalo, thus a nine-point turnaround on one play. The best run after changing directions, Bo Jackson of the Raiders, who moonlights for the Kansas City Royals. Left side no good. So here comes Bo up the right side, and there he goes. 88 yards and tackled at the one yard line by Rod Jones of the Bengals. The best flying leap into the end zone. It's Mr. Cunningham again against the Packers. And there he goes, flying through the air with the greatest of ease, landing for a touchdown. The best shot with your back to the basket without looking. Sherman Douglas of the Miami Heat, swish. The worst kick in the groin, Sedale Freed of Seattle, who goes up and into the groin of Derek Coleman of the Nets. The best check of the month, Gary Galley of the Bruins, who knocks the Red Wings, Keith Primo, into the penalty box. And the worst sportsmanship of the month, Brad Gilbert and David Wheaton, final round, World Cup tennis. Wheaton verbally assaults Gilbert, each fine $5,000. The plays of the year of 1990. Special thanks to my producers, Cliff Gelb and Rich Truman, and my editor, Tommy Chu. This is Warner Wolf wishing you a happy holiday season. Warner Wolf's plays of the year, sponsored by Mitsubishi and by Citibank. Watch.